Okay, so today on our bench we have a 912 crank. Uh, this one's been sent to do hopefully just a polish. It's kind of a fine line with these. There are aftermarket cranks available that are not um, that bad, that are fairly reasonable quality. This one kind of looks worse than it actually is. I don't feel my fingernail catching anywhere. Uh, a quick measurement on the nose bearing is comes up as standard size. 39.973, although 971 is the bottom end of the tolerance, getting close there. Um, our rods came up at 52.985 on average. And our main bearings were right around the same at 54.970. That one's kind of right on the edge right there. I think the best thing to do is we'll put it in the lathe and give it a, a quick polish. And, see how this cleans up and it may be one of those cases where it looks worse than it actually is as long as there's no ridging it should be okay to reuse Let's grab a mic and measure it. Yeah, measure. It's still usable. 54.972. So that's still usable. Fifty-two nine eight three. Well, I'm truly usable. Seven eight, so definitely still all in the usable range. So we're working on a set of Porsche nine twelve rods today, and we are just we've cleaned them, and I'm checking our uh, big end size on the rod. I'm checking for ovality as well as size. Right now, this one's right there. Maximum deviation is 0 0.02, and we're right there at 0 0.02. And right across the pin size, we are zero. So uh, this one's not too bad. Also, so we've cleaned, and I've given the pin a light hone, because these didn't look too bad. So I have my 22 millimeter pin, and I'm just going to test fit that. Uh, fits in, slides nice. Then I have my 22.2 pin gauge, which just starts to go in, but doesn't quite go in. So our, our little end bushing size is good, and we've just cleaned these up, given them a light hone. The hone pattern gives little uh, ridges and valleys to hold the oil in place. We've talked these down to 45 newton meters on our rod bolts, so this rod here is ready to go over to the balance station. Our tunnel is good here. The only thing I'm going to do is just give it a light dress here on a piece of flat glass with a small piece of uh, sandpaper. Now 
it just removes any nicks or marks. We don't want to take a lot of material. If we take material out of here, this is going to increase our side to side rod clearance. We're just looking for a nice smooth finish there. Okay, so we're going to look at the balance on our rods and there's a number of things, there's three main things that we're looking at. Overall weight and then each end of the rod when we go to balance it. So Porsche says our rods need to be within five grams of each other. Typically we're in 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a gram of each other is what we're aiming for when we're balancing. So this one's 492.1 overall. 490, 489, and 490.1. Now you want to make sure that everything is already, the nuts are on, the bushing's in, everything is where it needs to be. So when we look at our rods, we're still well within the Porsche range. Uh, lowest is 489 even, so this is the rod that's going to be our base level. Then we have 490, 492.1 and 490.1. So these two rods are really close and this one is kind of the outlier. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure all of my big ends and then all of my small ends. That way I can get an idea of where I can take weight to kind of balance each end of the rod so try and bring them in as close as we possibly can. So what we've got here is we're supporting the big end of the rod and we're weighing the little end of the rod. This one we have is 156.4. So you want to make sure there's no load on these. That's why we have roller bearings in here and we want it to kind of settle that weight. Three thirty five point two, let's take that. Okay, so when we look at our weights, um, most of our weight differences are on the little end of the rod. My writing's a little hard to see. Uh, this is kind of our baseline right here. This is our lightest rod that we're going to bring everything down to 489 grams total. It has 335.8 on the big end of the rod, 152 on the little end of the rod. So our one that is out the most is actually really close in weight on the big ends, 335. So we have 156.4 grams on the little end of the rod. So we can pull three grams out of that and bring it down in line to our 489 rod. Uh, these ones right here, we only need to pull a gram out of them. The little end's already right there. I'll pull a gram out of the big end on the second rod. And the same here with number four, we'll pull a gram out of the, uh, the big end side of the rod there, and that'll bring us down to our 489. Hmm. Getting closer. Much room okay, on the head. So other than minor sparks flying out of my belt sander to making us having to uh, switch to our grinder, which usually I prefer the belt sander, it leaves a uh, little bit nicer finish, but we got the job done. Uh, we've got our first rod where we have ground our little end and checking our weight on the scale, we are at 489.0, so we're exactly the same weight. So we're just going to finish up the, the rest of the rods. Uh, that was the worst one for the most amount of weight coming out. So we will continue. I've got to take a gram out of this one and 1.1 out of that one, which shouldn't take much. All right, so I finished all of our rods. And on some of the rods, we took more off of the big end cap and left the little end alone. Uh, that's because this weight was already under what our rod here, this is our... Uh, standard rod, this is our lightest weight. So when I check all of my weights again, we're at 489 .0, 489.0, 489.1, 489.1. So we are within 0.1 of a gram of each rod and we've taken weight 
um, in relationship to try and keep the big end and little ends as matched as we possibly can. So that wraps it up for the rods. These are ready to get uh, lubricated just with some uh, oil to stop them rusting because we've cleaned them, we've vapor blasted them and ceramic polished them. Uh, bushings are all honed and sized, big ends are all checked, uh, everything is balanced and ready to go back to its owner.